Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. You're very welcome um, to this afternoon's scholarship uh, 2022 information session. So I'm just going to hold for a few minutes um, so that everybody can come in. Um, so I just see you all coming in there. So again, just as you join us, you're all very welcome to the scholarship information session um, this afternoon. And um, so I'll just give one or two more minutes just while everybody comes in. Um, and okay, I think we look stable there. And um, I'll kick off. So again, um, you're very welcome to this afternoon's information session on the scholarships that are available from Access and Lifelong Learning. So um, my name is Fiona Sweeney, um, and you may have met me at the welcome last week. And I'm also joined by my colleague Irina, who's uh, looking after the technical. And Lorraine is going to join us now in a minute, and uh, Michelle. Um, so we're going to record the session, so just to let you know that, um, and it'll be available as a resource on the Access and Lifelong Learning website. Okay, so this afternoon I'm going to tell you about two exciting opportunities um, of scholarships that are available um, in UCD. So the university very much recognised that there are financial barriers facing students when you start off um, college and it works hard to try and improve the situation. So there are two um, particular scholarships that you would be of interest. So the first is the Cogham Lafayette Scholarship and the second is the 1916 Bursary. So I'm going to take you through each one in turn. So first of all, looking at the covering of Vena. So this means equality and justice, and it's UCD's motto, and it's all around levelling the playing pitch. These scholarships are funded by UCD alumni and corporate donors, and they very much want to um, fund and support uh, UCD's future graduates, and that's why they donate to these scholarships. Um, I'm delighted to say that it is the largest scholarship um, uh, programme in the country for access students. And this year we have 140 uh, scholarships to award. And each year your certificate will be awarded to you as part of the UCD entrance awards, which happens on later in the, in the year. And it's a lovely event and you can bring your family to it. So it's something to look forward to. Um, so as I said, we have 140 to award and um, they range in value. So the minimum amount is 1500 and, and some of them um, go up as far as six, uh, 6,000. They're each year of your study and they're for the duration of your study. So you apply once now in first year and you have it once you're progressing um, through your studies for the duration of your study. So that's important to note. And then within the um, umbrella of um, the Cuthbert Nafena, we have a number of particular sponsored uh, scholarships that I wanted to highlight to you as well. So first of all, these is the Sutherland opportunities, and these are supported by Mason Hayes and Curran. And there are ten of those available, and these are uh, worth three thousand per year. Then we have the E&A supporting the professions, and we have 40 of these available this year, and these range in value from 1500 up to 2500, so they're very worthwhile. And also we're introducing a new scholarship in English literature this year, the Bridget Dolan Award, and it is worth 6000. And there is also then the Classics and Archaeology Scholarship, um, and that's 3,000. And I don't have on the slide, but there is another scholarship, um, the Michael Byrne Accommodation Scholarship, and that's available as well this year, and details will be on our website. So as you can see, there are a number of very valuable scholarships um, available, so it's well worth your while making the application. So how do you know if you're eligible? So again, we've tried to make the criteria as straightforward and as simple simple for, for students as possible. So there's three things you need to meet in order to be eligible for these scholarships. So number one, you need to have a family income of less than 50,840 or qualify for the SUSE grant. The second thing is that you need to have come in or entered UCD one of the access admissions pathways. So these are here, DARE, Mature, QQI, university access or open learning pathway. So you have um, a, a range of different pathways that you can come in. And then the third thing that you meet, need to meet is be one of the priority groups um, in UCD. And I'm gonna take you through those now. And I'm delighted that Lorraine and Michelle have both been able to join us, so you're very welcome. 
So who are the priority groups? So these are students that entered UCD either using the HERE scheme or our DARE or the DARE scheme, or students that is with a disability, first time matures, uh, students that are a member of the traveling community or the Roma community, a student that entered UCD using their uh, QQI or FET route, a student that is a lone parent, a student that comes from either ethnic minority background or is a refugee, and then a student that is either a carer or in the care of the state. And then also students that have entered UCD using the University Access Programme. So how do you apply? So again, we've tried to make it as straightforward as possible. It's an online application and it's available through your SysWeb account. And there's a number of uh, short questions that you have to answer and then a personal statement. All of our information on the uh, how to apply, the criteria, um, and the, the sponsored scholarships are all available on our website. So if you go into www.ucd.ie and then go to the Come to UCD section and financial supports, you'll find the details there. The closing date is the 7th of October at 5 p.m. And the application allows you to upload your documents. So you can upload everything as part of your application. You don't need to send anything in addition. So like the criteria, we've tried to make the supporting documents as straightforward um, for students um, so that you're not getting um, additional stuff. So everybody needs to complete an income declaration form for the household income. And then depending on your circumstances, so if you are in receipt of, a, of Susie, you just give us your income declaration and your Susie letter. If you are uh, here eligible, again, you just give us your income declaration and your um, here letter. And then if you don't have any of those, you complete the income declaration and then give us a statement of liability for 2021 or your social welfare details for 2021, okay? And um, so that's the year you before you came into college. Okay, I'm just gonna pause there just to see has anybody got any questions on the Coverham Nevena um, at this stage? I see one, something in the chat there. No, that's just the application. So everybody okay? No questions so far? Okay, we'll continue then on to the uh, 1916 bursary, okay? So, sorry now, bear with me. There we go. Okay, so this is a national uh, bursary scheme and it's available, it's to support access to third level. There are three levels of scholarship available. So tier one is 5,000 euro um, for your undergrad and also your postgrad. Tier two is 2,000 euro. And then tier three are once off scholarships available for uh, at 1,500. Um, and in UCD, we were um, able to award 44 of these scholarships last year. Um, so what I think is important to note here is that if you are successful in securing a tier one or a tier two um, 1916 bursary, that you know that it is with you if you decide to go and do a postgraduate study. So it will follow you through. So these are very worthwhile scholarships applying for. So again, how do you know you're eligible for the 1916? So the first thing is that you need to be um, a, a new and a first time entrant to an undergraduate course. You need to qualify for the special rate of SUSE and or have a means tested social welfare payment into the household. And that would be for 2021. And the means tested social welfare payments are ones that have the word allowance in them. So it could be disability allowance, it could be job seekers allowance, it could be carers allowance. You need to also have been living here for the last three of the past five years. And then you also need to be one of the priority groups. And so for the 1916s, and I'll just read you out who the priority groups are. So students with a disability, students that have experienced socioeconomic disadvantage, students that live in an area of socioeconomic disadvantage, um, somebody that is a member from, of the traveling community, a student that is a member of the Roma community, a student that is a lone parent or, a teen, or was a teen parent, a student that was eligible for the HERE scheme, a student that is in receipt of the carer's allowance, a first time mature student, a student that used the QQI FET route to get into college, 
a student that is from a migrant or a refugee or an ethnic minority background, a student that has experienced the justice system or a student that has experienced domestic violence. So there's quite a number of groups there. Okay, so all of the information again is available and um, there's a dedicated web website www.1916bursary.ie so that has all of the applicant guidelines and also the frequently asked questions. How do you apply then? The application is from the UCD website. So if you go to the um, um, sorry, the Access and Lifelong website and then just put in 1916, it'll get you to that. And we also have a dedicated email address that, to answer any queries you might have. And that is UCD 1916 bursary at UCD.ie. Um, and then the closing date for the 1916 is the 20th of October um, at 5 p.m. So the supporting documents then you need for the 1916s are so the criteria is that you qualify for the special rate of SUSE and or have a means tested social welfare payment. So if you are in receipt of SUSE, all you have to do is give us the reference number um, and we look after the rest. And then you're a copy of the uh, means tested payment um, for 2021, and that's from the social welfare. And then also you need to tick on the application which group were all the groups that you're applying for. Um, right, okay. So next steps then, what are your next steps? So the first of all is to review the websites and the applicant guidelines for the information. Gather all your documents together. So um, for Coherum Nefena, that's your income declaration form and either your Susie letter, your here letter, and then if you don't have either of them, it's your statement of liability for 2021 from revenue or your social welfare documents um, for 2021. And then for Susie, um, or sorry, excuse me, for 1916, um, if you're in receipt of Susie, you just need to give us your reference number, which is great. So to take your time um, filling in the application and answering the questions so that you um, get all the information right. And then very important, remember to press submit when you have finished. If you have any questions at all, please do contact us. Now, if you think after listening to us today that you might be eligible for both scholarships, I would encourage you to apply for both scholarships. Um, however, then when you are awarded, if you are awarded both scholarships, you will just take or receive one. And normally students go for the one that's of the higher value. But it really, as you can see, it's worthwhile applying for both um, scholarships. OK, so just a quick reminder then. Um, the cover Mafena, the closing date is the 7th of October. So maybe do that first. And then the 1916 bursary is the 20th of October. And if you have any questions or anything, you can pop Lorraine an email or you can use the all at ucd.ie account. Um, and then for the 1916s, there is the website and there is the UCD 1916 bursary at ucd.ie email. Okay, so um, I will stop there. And if there's any questions, we'd be delighted. And then just to remember that if you think you're eligible for both, you can apply for both, but then if you're awarded both, you will just hold one and it's usually of the higher value. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'll ask Michelle and Lorraine to join us. Thank you. So. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Michelle. Um, let me see. We have one question there. Yeah. So. Um, do both scholarships support at master's? So it's just the 1916s um, that support the master's. Um, and then the second question that is there is, uh, where do you get the income declaration form? And you can just download it from our website. It's there, you just can download it. And there's also an explanation as to how you should fill out the income declaration form. But if you have any questions, you can just email us about that. Great, great. Now I see in the chat, oh no, that's fine. Any other questions that anybody would like to ask? No? Okay. Um, so as we said, we're going to record, or this is recorded, we're going to, we have recorded this and it'll be available on our website. Um, have a look at the applications and if there is any questions, please do drop us an email.
So thank you very much, everybody, for coming this afternoon. And thank you to oh, Irina, so Michelle and Lorraine. Uh, there's one more question oh, here, Fiona. Sorry. So right. what should we talk about in our personal statements? So uh, the things you can talk about are certainly your journey to college, maybe any barriers that you've overcome, and um, maybe any financial uh, challenges that you have, um, and why you've chosen your course. Yeah. And Anything I'd, else, Michelle? I'd say as well, when you're talking about the barriers that you've faced, um, talk about the impact that those barriers had as well on your education to date and how you overcame them. So really, you're, you're telling a story. Um, you use as much space as you want to. Um, don't, don't try and abbreviate it. Give as much information as you possibly can that just shows everybody um, the journey that you've had to be here. Great. No other questions? That's okay. Incredible. Great. Okay, well, thank you very much, everybody, again. And uh, good luck with your applications. Great. Great. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.